making this video for anyone who is interested in creating unusual effects, shall we say. Not extreme effects, but just pleasant effects when they're recording their violin. Now, I'm taking this electric violin. It's an acoustic violin, but it's got a, a pickup built into it. Uh, I made a video about this some weeks ago because I got this off eBay and it was dead cheap and um, anyway I've been experimenting now as you know, may well know it's been Black Friday this last couple of days for um, many shops to offer products supposedly at reduced price. But of course, we all know that may not necessarily be the case. Having said that, software manufacturers are offering some extremely good deals. People like Toman, who offer their software, or the software of lots of different companies on their website, are offering some incredible deals. But anyway, I've bought this um, plug-in. Now... Let me explain. This is my recording setup. I use a, a piece of software called Reaper, which is a great piece of software um, because it's like a sort of um, what I call a sequencer. Now, if, if you imagine, I, I started off on tape recorders, so everything was done in sequence. I recorded the violin and then the guitar and sort of overlaid one on top of the other. And the more recordings you made, the more that the noise tended to build up because tape is inherently slightly noisy. There's a bit of a background hiss with tape, you see, which you have to filter out each time you record. Anyway, I'm digressing. Nowadays, we can do it all digitally. Um, I can explain how... Um, analog to digital works but I'll probably bore the pants off you so I won't go down that route but just merely say I'm recording my music on the computer I have a sort of very basic sound card very cheap one um, that, that does the trick and I've discovered another sound card actually it cost me about £30 that I must make a video about and show you and talk to you about because I think you'll find it fascinating if you enjoy recording um, not just violin but also the electronic aspect of uh, violin where you use synthesizers. Now what I'm doing here on this setup is I'm recording my violin directly into the sound card and I'm using a, a, an interface and a little bit of a graphic equaliser there's the, there's the graphic, it's that cheap Behringer one I enjoy using. And I'm using my Fishman DI interface, which seems to work quite well. It seems to take out some of the harshness of the electric violin. Now that's going through into the computer on, um, in this instance, channel 1. So I'm going to try and show you that. Uh, this is the what I call Fiddle DI, Fiddle Direct Input. Now I'm just going to flip the camera for a moment. There we are, so I can see what I'm actually pointing at. Now this channel here, let me use this very useful violin bow as a pointer. That there is the signal going in from my violin. That there is me looking as though I've just seen a ghost, but don't worry about that. This channel here, let me just uh, highlight it, is the recording that um, the microphone on my video camera has captured. So that's on this next sequence lane here. Now the third one is a, a room microphone. One of my other Black Friday purchases, I finally got myself one of these um, booth type things. It was dead cheap 
and um, it sort of stops any um, reflected sounds off the walls because I have a big problem in this room with the bare plaster walls reflecting a lot of sound. Anyway, so um, so that's channel three, and channel four I've got um, a sampler running. Now I use one called Contact, and you can get that free. Contact Player is free, doesn't cost a penny. Just go on the Contact website and you can download it. It's spelt K-O-N-T-A-K-T. Channel, the next channel is also a, um, a, um, a sampler. Now what I'm doing is I'm running a plugin here, here it is, called Vocalize. Now I only discovered this earlier this week because um, a company I subscribed to called um, Plugin Boutique were offering it at a really good value price. So I snapped that up and I thought, well, that's worth having because that will make my recording sound more interesting for you. Um, so there we go. So I've got that now. Um, yeah, so that's basically the setup. And what I'm doing here with my DI channel, that's the direct input channel. What I'm doing here, I'm taking the actual signal here and sending it out. Now I've got something running here which comes with um, Reaper. It's free of charge. It comes with the package with Reaper. Um, and it's a MIDI interface. And let's see what happens when I run that. Now you see, what it's doing, it's showing the notes that I play with my violin. So I'm playing different notes, obviously, and you can see it's tracking. So it's actually tracking those notes. Now, in the process of tracking, I can click this box down here, send MIDI events. Now, if I send those MIDI events, if I open this box up down here, I can send them to my sampler. So anything that it listens to, it creates MIDI. Now, don't worry if you don't understand what MIDI is too much, but basically it's a way of controlling other sounds. So you can take, you can take an audio signal and convert it into an electronic signal so it can be used to, uh, in this instance, fire up this thing, which is vocalise. Let's just have a listen to that. There we are. So as I'm playing, I'm actually controlling MIDI and I'm controlling the plugin Vocalize. Now I've got two instances of this plugin running. Let's take that out of the way for the time being. And you can see the purple and the orange tracks are actually running two separate separate instances. Let me just see if I can show that to you. There you are. So you can see two of them running together. And there's me playing the violin like a good person. But in actual fact, there's no violin coming out. It's just controlling the synthesizer. So I'll stop myself from playing now. Okay, I'm looking rather shocked again. No surprise there because I've stopped myself mid-flight. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking um, my audio recording and converting it into an electronic signal that I can send through to these um, plugins which are being uh, which are running from a sampler program called Contact. It's fascinating stuff and, and you've heard the recording already but I'll just give you a run through again. Take Now I'll take off this. There's the violin controlling both of those individual samplers. There's just the, the bare violin playing by itself. 
And this is an impulse response um, reverb I'm using. It gives a much, much cleaner reverb, I find. the vocalist wanting to take over but there you go so that's hopefully a little bit of interest for you to see some of the, the tricks behind the scene as it were to see what sort of thing can be done I think electronic violins and recording is fascinating and can lead on to all sorts of interesting sounds of course we can change the sound of the violin entirely if we wished but that's for another video I think OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into some of my um, techniques of recording this sound of violin. So um, enjoy your fiddle playing and I hope you get time to experiment a little yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.